So last time we talked, Alexis Ketter, the founder of My Legacy Challenge, went on an unsuccessful date with an indecisive Bjorn Björsson. Sick of his games, Alexis pursued Ty Lum again, making him her sugar daddy, only for him to give her crab lice. I think it's safe to say now that Alexis has the worst f luck possible. She took the golden credit card Ty gave her and took out 30 grand. I mean, that lice killing shampoo got to be paid for somehow. Though Ty had risked her health and she didn't think she would ever see him the same afterwards, she decided she would still use him as a wallet. This made her sad because she saw so much potential with him. She tried to forget about it and called up Roy D. Dillon. Bjorn wasn't budging and Ty had community meet. So, that left one other option. Alexis never had any problem with Roy, so she figured he would probably be the best option. And so, they shared a first kiss. Alexis immediately became flirty, so they proceeded to get wicked when this happened. Mother f are you serious? Now you've made up your mind about Alexis as she's doing the devil's tango with Roy. By bitch, you had your chance. Men in real life and in the sims have audacity. Alexis was so relieved to cut Bjorn off, she had no time for his games. One of Alexis's wants was to ask Roy to be her boyfriend anyways. She asked him to be hers and he immediately said yes. As a celebration, Roy took Alexis out on a date at a grill in San Michuno's Spice Market. They sat and enthused about their relationship. Alexis was genuinely excited to start this next chapter with Roy. Miss Girl was ready to make her new man's pockets hurt. She debated between the lobster and the shrimp. Speaking of shrimp, this dude is just walking around the restaurant with his junk out. That's just splendid, isn't it? Being utterly disgusted by that, she got the lobster and a bridge port while Roy got the steak. You're telling me that's the lobster? Girl, I'd send it back. Alexis and Roy talked over dinner. Romance in the air. Until she heard a familiar, grating voice. Christopher Volkov, her enemy, was sitting adjacent to her table. You've got to be kidding me. He looks too happy for my liking. Let's go ruin it. Annoying wolf boy was easy for Alexis, as they began arguing immediately. His wife looked so confused. Bitch, you can get the smoke too. Chris's wife felt threatened and eventually left while her husband continued arguing with Alexis. Until he wasn't. Wait, what are you doing? Are you flirting? What do you mean they settled their differences? What in the lemon pepper fuck just happened? 